At the moment, we have translations stored in associative arrays, and we're displaying the relevant translation by simply accessing each array element with its key. There are other options for storing translations. Let's take a look at some examples from the Symfony framework documentation. In addition to simple PHP arrays, we could store translations in XML using a format called XLIF, which, as you can see, is quite verbose, or in YAML, which is a more readable file format. Basically, we need a format that matches a string of text to its equivalent in another language. Another option is to use portable object or PO files. These are text files that match a message ID, which is the untranslated string, with its translation using a predefined format. PO files are the format used by GetText, which, although it has been around for a long time, is still the industry standard for translating software and is what many PHP applications use, including WordPress. PHP includes an API for using GetText. Translating strings using GetText is what we'll be doing in this section.